My name is Tiffany and this is Toad. Well, we moved to the city recently and in our condo hallways, he gets very, very scared by people coming out of doors or making sounds. And I just noticed that he was getting very, very afraid. Um, so I looked into getting him some help for, for that type of anxiety. Toad is a lovely dog. He's a sweetheart of a fluffy Aussie. Most of the time is, is just that, a loving, happy, wiggly dog who wants to lay in the sun and swim in the water and um, get scratches. He really likes scratches. Um, and it can look like suddenly a switch was turned when he's lunging and barking at something. Um, but it's important to remember that this is coming from a place of fear. You know, when, when you're out about in the world and you see a dog barking, that dog's not a bad dog. Behind every reactive dog is somebody's loving pet that is not like that most of the time. So when working with reactive dogs and their humans, really having to emphasize, hey, you're gonna have to work pretty hard here to keep this dog below threshold in order to make our progress progress more quickly, which can be hard, especially in a city where there are stimuli popping out everywhere that are totally out of our control. You know, oh, there's a bike over there. Oh, there's a dog over there. He doesn't like this, you know, a person with a stroller walking down the street and just trying to avoid those things so that uh, that that reactive client is, is not getting pushed over threshold. I work primarily with positive reinforcement because it works and it works really well. Um, I want an animal to want to do a behavior and to be happy about doing it as opposed to be scared about not about what happens if they do it or if they don't do it. A lot of Toad's training has been training for me. As much as he does the work, I had to learn how to train him. It's so hard. Um, you know, I, I see something scary coming that's, you know, maybe going to be a trigger for him and I want to reach for my bag, but but you have to let them see the trigger in order to then, you know, positively reward them. I believe that it's humane and ethical and we are able to train animals really effectively doing that. You can just tell when we walk out of my front door that he's no longer afraid and shaking and anxious um, when we're in the hallways. So he just seems overall happier. Seeing the impact that I make on these dogs uh, and their guardians' lives is hugely rewarding. Our life is getting back to what you know, what normal dog owners or owners of non-reactive dogs experience. We can go for walks on the seawall. He can happily greet my neighbors. Um, you know, if we're going for walks in busy areas, I just always have treats, and he's happy to do his work. Um, so really, it's given him quality of life back and yeah, it's been life changing for us.